Oh, good. Lewis, great to see you again. Um, tell me about the Liverpool game, because all the build-up to that was Liverpool have turned a corner, this is going to be tricky for Bournemouth, how are they going to react to the Arsenal game, and then you pull off a result like that. Yeah, I think, obviously, a top, top team. Um, we've seen that this year, and throughout the last few years they've been top, so for us it was a massive a massive achievement for us as a team to, to come and get a win. And No, it was a, I'm not going to lie, it was a little bit of a surprise. We, we, uh, we got the job done because they're a top team, but look, the lads are putting top, top work in throughout the week and obviously bouncing back from results, it's been tough, but they did really well and we put a great shift in and, like you say, got, a, got a po uh, three points against a top, top team. Because some pundits have been writing Bournemouth off for weeks saying they'll go away soon almost, you know, they'll, they'll be down there. But is there that fuel, that determination within the squad that you're not going to go quietly at all? Yeah, definitely. I think that's, that's, that's football, I think. Um, obviously, getting promoted last year was a, a massive, massive plus for us. We worked really hard for that. And obviously, some, some people's opinions are going to be that we're going to go straight back down. So that's fair enough. We like that. We like the, uh, um, the challenge. That's what we're here for. And... Looks best, the best league in the world. It's tough, tough games, and we're just going to fight for uh, for every game and every point to, to try and stay up. Was there an element of satisfaction taken by the fact that obviously you played Liverpool earlier in the season? It was nine 0 at Anfield for the fans. They would have enjoyed that kind of bit of revenge, retribution. Was there any of that? Um, maybe not at the time. I think because you're just so focused on on the three points or the point. So that was we didn't really think about that, but looking back on that now, it was a it was a nice moment because that that time at Anfield was was real tough. They showed how good they were, and um, to to kind of reverse it was was massive for us. And I think when we look into it, it's a it's a nice feeling. Yeah, aside from obviously the injuries, I guess not many tougher places to be at than at Anfield when they're playing like that. Yeah, there's so many tough places to go in this league, um, but yeah, that's definitely up there one of one of the uh, the hardest and. Anywhere they go, they're a top team. So I think we did really well to, to get the three points um, on Saturday. You're level on points now with West Ham and Leicester, which you wouldn't have expected perhaps at the start of the season, given how they've been in, in recent years. But it's great, isn't it, that you're neck and neck with these teams? Yeah, I, I, I don't really uh, try and pay too much attention to the table. I didn't really know that. But look, in this league, you, you get a couple of, couple of wins in a row and uh, the outlook can be completely different. Whereas you get two defeats in a row or three, and it, it, again it looks completely different. So we've just got to take it game by game and, and just make sure we uh, do uh, perform the best to our uh, abilities and be the best bomb if we can. Do you really not look at the table? Then? No, not really. Obviously, a bit like it says three or four games left to go, but I don't really try and focus on it. Obviously, you hear where you are and stuff, and you know where you're at, but I just try not to focus on that and just take it game by game. On a weekend of huge positives, what was it like to see David Brooks? back in the matchday squad? Yeah, I think obviously the win was a positive, but I think Brooksy being back in the squad was probably the main positive for us as, as a team and as a club and for football really. I think um, he's a top lad, he's been through so much. Um, and yeah, he was he was buzzing to be back in the squad, probably buzzing to try and get on. So hopefully in the next few weeks he can do that. But no, he's, um, he's looking really really well in training as well because we know how good he is and I think the fans here know how good he is. Yeah, what was this goal he scored in training last week that basically prompted the manager to stick him in the squad? Well, it's, I don't know which one it would have been. He's, there's been quite a few flying in the back of the net. So, no, we know what he's, what he's about. I think everyone else does. So, um, when he's ready, he's ready and looking forward to it. How was he on the bench? Excitable? Yeah, I think he was, he's just Brooksy. He just loves, being, loves playing football. Um, you see him in training, he's running around, just enjoying himself, which he, he deserves it because what he's been through has been real tough. And... Uh, credit to him and his family because um, they're real fighters. You've had long stints off the field where you've had to work through you know, rehabilitation, albeit in different circumstances. Can you help him with, or have you helped him with any of the sort of uh, tricks or keys that got you through those tough times? Um, obviously, it's completely different. I think, obviously, just knee injuries is, is nothing compared to something like that. So um, it was tough at times because obviously you didn't see him for, for a while, but. Um, he's, a, he's a top lad and um, he's a real fighter so I think he's done incredibly well to get back to where he is and obviously you just talk to him when you can about um, trying to help him and with, with a long period out of football but he's come through it and he's, uh, he looks really strong. Yeah brilliant and another goal for Philip Billing. I mean what's, what's happened here 16-25 I mean that's, that's way above and beyond what he was sort of managing before but he's always had that potential hasn't he? Oh definitely I think Phil Bill he's Everyone can see how good he is. Um, he's, he's athletic. Um, 
he's a, a, a he's got a lot of height and he's really good with his feet as well. So he can affect the games in, in multiple ways with his energy or his goals. So it's good to see him scoring a bit more and I feel like he can get even more. You've got Aston Villa next. How much are you looking forward to it? How much do you relish trips to Villa Park? Yeah, I think I, I look back to last year where we were fighting two games a week, um, going to some really tough places and this is where we wanted to be. So I think it's a great stadium, a great occasion to go and, and play football. It's it's where we all want to be and we've just got to enjoy, enjoy the... Um, enjoy the occasion and just try our hardest to get three points. Played him on the opening day of the season, I was here, uh, the weather was very different, the teams are very different, the managers are, are very different. What's been the biggest change do you think at Bournemouth in terms of how you play now from when you were at that opening weekend? Um, it's a tough one really, I think that opening weekend we were probably the same as we are now, we were collective, we were fighting every second ball and, and really putting a a good like physical performance in so I feel like we've just we've, we've just got the belief back into into our play and look we've, we've made some great signings that can affect games in, in lots of ways and yeah we're just it's a great great group of lads and we just we all stick together to try and uh, achieve the same goal. Lots changed for you as well you are now a father many congratulations. Yeah thank you little baby boy um, three weeks old so yeah like I say a lot of stuff has changed and just trying to balance the, the dad life and the football life. So, uh, but no, it's going really well so far, and it's um, I'm I'm very lucky. Yeah, how's that going? The balance of sleep, work, life, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's actually it's it surprised me. Obviously, my wife's really good. Um, she knows how physical and demanding football can be for me. So, I think we've got the right balance um, so far, and I'm happy with it. To be fair. So, has that changed your plans for the international break? Because this is the last game before the international break. So, maybe in the past you might have been able to sneak off for. a few days away but yeah I know I think obviously he don't have the passport yet he's only three weeks but we'll um, we'll see we might go and see some family lovely well many congratulations glad that he's doing really well